Welcome to Market and Sell. Marketing is the art of engaging your customers with your products and services. Create a lasting impression to gain returning customers. Marketing. Marketing is very important when you want to engage your customers and build relationships with your customers. The way that you engage your customers is through, you can do it through email marketing, you can do it through advertisements, um, you can do promotions throughout the year. Um, there's various ways that you can get your customers involved um, with your store or with your site or with your just if you even if you're selling one product or services it's different ways that you can get your customers engaged and then once you get them engaged you continue to build on those relationships you don't want to them to gear away because there's so many different products and services out there that may be similar to what you have to offer but you want to keep those customers coming back and retain a good retention rate for customers so you can increase your retention rate by building those relationships and engaging your customers. There's other ways and techniques that you can also value your customers through offers, such as sales offers, promotions. You can provide customers per promo codes through email, or you can place the promo code on your website for a distinct amount of time, a short period or a long period of time, or just seasonally, or just during the holiday seasons. Or you can provide weekly, monthly, quarterly, buy annually or annually sales for the customers where percentages off on certain items that are featured or percentages off on the entire store. So it just depends on how you would like to market your customers. That brings us to how to market. There are various ways that you can market. You can do advertisement markets, uh, marketing techniques. You can do email marketing, social media platforms such as Facebook, Book, LinkedIn, Craigslist, and so much more. You can also do advertisements on your personal site. You can do affiliate company advertisements, like a partnership program, in which they provide you a percentage off a percentage of the sales of the product that you are displaying on your site. So there's all, always different and various ways that you can market your customers. And affiliate program is good as well because. It also gives, brings you another form of revenue, but it can also veer your customers towards that product and away from yours. So you just have to make a valid decision of how you would like to retain, obtain, and to keep your customers coming back for more. Sell your product, create an advertisement. Throughout this presentation, I'm going to show you how to create an advertisement, what an advertisement looks like, what should it be displayed on an advertisement, what should not be displayed on an advertisement, and how it is strategically placed the wording on the advertisement, as well as the display on the actual page that the customer is going to view. Because that page is also known as a sales page. So if you're going to create a sales page, this is this is what the advertisement would look like or if you're going to advertise on your website or on different various means of platforms that you can advertise on, then this is an example of what an advertisement would look like and the meaning of why the actual seller created the advertisement in that way. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of an advertisement and how to create an advertisement to make your sale. All right, come along with me as I take you through the process. Products must be capture your audience's attention, express your product well, answer customers' needs and wants. So you want to make sure that your product captures your audience's attention. So there's attention grabbers on the actual advertisement. It expresses your product well. That means there's not a lot of distractions around the advertisement that you have placed here. Um, the advertisement is very clear, it's not cluttered, there's minimum words on there, but the words that mean a lot to grab the customer's attention should stand out. Um, you answering your customer's needs and wants is something that a customer would need, like clothing. We need clothing to wear, um, and it's also something a customer would want, because sometimes customers purchase based on want as well because you want to wear something that you're comfortable in you want to wear something that um, fits you well and it represents you well so all of these things are very important when creating an advertisement 
Making the sale is very, very important as well. Ads flow into easy checkout procedures. So you want to make sure that your ad flows well and smooth and seamlessly um, so that customers can easily check out the item because you want to make the sale ultimately. Checkout accepts forms of payments. You want to make sure that the checkout accepts various forms of payments such as PayPal, Visa, MasterCards, credit cards, debit card. You want to make sure there's a variety of different ways for the customer to be able to pay because sometimes customers use online banking or a physical bank. So you want to make sure it's compatible for all, most customers. All right, here's an example of advertising. on this advertisement um, there is a picture of a young lady she is wearing a corduroy skirt and a sweater um, the sweater is not a very long um, wrist length sweater but it's mid um, made about a, um, one third from the actual wrist um, that indicates to me as a customer if I was to purchase this outfit that we're transitioning from the summer to the fall and when transitioning from the summer to the fall it indicates to me as a customer that it's not going to be too cold but it's not going to be too warm so i'm going to need something either a light sweater or a sweater that's not fully covering um, my entire arm and then the corduroy skirt indicates to me that although we're transitioning from the summer to the fall I'm I can still um, have my um, skirt a certain length and I could still wear shorts or a skirt but at the same time it's a thicker material so it's it's I'm not going to be as cold because it's only going to be certain parts of my body that's going to be out um, so therefore I'm not going to be as cold so it's telling me that it's going to be a little bit chilly but it's not going to be too hot and I can actually wear this outfit and, and I'm comfortable temperature wise and I'm also comfortable the way it fits my body and it's also comfortable of the material and how it um, how it fits. So this is a very good display. There's no distractions in the background. Um, her hair indicates that it's going to be windy because um, her hair is flowing and the sunglasses indicating that the sun may appear because in the fall there is sometimes sun so it's a little bit sunny still and the background shows that as well it's bright um, but it's not as cloudy as it is in the winter so everything has meaning when you're creating an outfit and you're creating a display for your customers to view and as you see how she positions her body um, her her if you're facing the screen it's gonna be your left side but if you're actually the person in that's on the advertisement it's her right yes you can see her arm is coming forward somewhat that indicates to me that she's showing that the sleeve of the arm is a floral material so that floral is the design on the arm because as you can see on the other arm you can't you can see a little bit of the floral but you can't see the actual whole design so she's displaying the the unique design on the shirt as well the fit the design and the material so this is an example of an advertisement. Market and sell. There are many different ways that you can market and sell your items. You can market and sell your items on social media, such as Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, or you can build your own personal website in which you can market and sell your item on. You can sell one item, you can sell multiple items. You can feature an item on your website, such as if you're going to have a seasonal sale and you're going to not sell that item during the winter, but you're going to sell it in the spring, then you can display that on your site to tell customers, hey, we're closing out this item for this season because we're going to bring up this new item and you want to bring more customers in, you can do it that way. Um, you can also incorporate different accessories that may go with some of the fabrics or some of the different types of style of clothing or products that you are selling. Then you can do it that way to draw more customers in. You can also create ads um, on the computer for your customers to go to because sometimes customers do see ads as they're striping or 
swiping, excuse me, or strolling down their phone. They can see the different ads that's displayed on the side of the phone or that may show up in videos that they may be watching. So that's a good way to display. Facebook has ads, Pinterest has ads, YouTube have ads, Instagram, LinkedIn. So it's many different ways that you can market and sell your product. And you can upload a picture on Instagram and say, hey, this is our new item that we're featuring. Um, come to our store and you can list that physical store on there to draw more customers in. You can send out emails if you have a list of customers that have uh, signed up for your communications at your physical store or your online store and you can send them out emails reminding them or coupons to get them into your store or you can give out free items such as buy one get one free or the so much off of the first sale or 50% off of this week. Um, there's many different ways that you can market and sell to your consumers. You just have to know what works for you and what season and things of that nature. And building your website is also important because on your website you can display anything basically. Affiliate can bring in income for your company if you do affiliate marketing that means that you bring other similar types of items from other companies and they give you a percentage of that um, you can place your items that you are featuring for the week on your website to draw more customers in you can place a big sale or a small sale of a certain section of your store or a seasonal sale there are many different ways that you can market your consumers for more business tips, subscribe to my channel. You won't want to miss.